Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to ZZ Top and I'm listening to two songs, Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Left Chicago. Um, because Waiting for the Bus segues into Jesus Just Left Chicago. I believe this version of the songs has them joined together. So I listen to them both as one song. So here we go. <laughs> I got my brown paper bag and 
So it was ZZ Top with Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago. Um, that was great. I really like Billy Gibbons guitar tone. Ah, but it's well the rhythm section. Frank Beard's drums and um, Dusty Hill's bass are great. And it's a great a big sound from just a uh, trio. Um, uh, so looking at the two songs. Uh, the first song, Waiting for the Bus, just appears to be um, pretty much what it says. Uh, waiting for and travelling around by bus to and from work. Um, if you don't have a, a car, and I guess it depend on whether you're close to a train station or not, whether bus or train would be your um, best option. Uh, I know I've spent a lot of time on public transport and I'm not sure why, but I much preferred travelling on a train than a bus. Um, and the second part of it, Jesus just left Chicago. Um, I believe sometimes uh, the people in the south and um, could tune into radio stations that were being broadcast out of Chicago and these uh, I believe these were um, playing Chicago blues these radio stations and the signal was so strong that they could be heard um, at certain times right down in the south um, as far as New Orleans um, I believe that was with, I'm not sure we do it with just with AM radio. Um, I did uh, read an interview um, with Gibbons and he said the two songs being uh, together um, was an accident um, that the engineer made turned out to be uh, not such a bad mistake um, but it wasn't deliberate there's been um, somebody an engineer's assistant or something that said that that wasn't true uh, that, that they were looking for a way to join the two songs. Um, I tend to lean towards what Gibbon said, he wrote the songs. So. But anyway, uh, a bit about the band. ZZ Top is an American rock band formed in Houston, Texas in 1969. For 51 years it consisted of vocalist, guitarist, Billy Gibbons, drummer Frank Beard, and bassist, vocalist Dusty Hill, until Hill's death in 2021. Inspired by the blues as well as the work of Cream, the Jimi Hendrix experience, and the 13th floor elevators in the late 1960s, ZZ Top developed a signature sound based on Gibbons' blues style and Hill and Beard's rhythm section. They are known for their live performances, sly and humorous lyrics, and the matching appearance of Gibbons and Hill, who wore sunglasses, hats, and long beards. Trey's Hombres is the third studio album uh, released on July 26, 1973 by London Records. 
the album would be ZZ Top's commercial breakthrough in the US charts. It peaked at number 8 on the Billboard 200 albums charts in 1974. Waiting for the Bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago are two songs uh, from the Trey's Hombres album. The two songs open the album, segue into each other, and for years radio stations played the two tracks together. Waiting for the Bus was written solely by Billy Gibbons and uh, Dusty Hill, while Jesus Left Chicago was also co-written by drummer Frank Beard. Uh, despite not being released as singles, the songs were widely considered as two of the band's essential songs. Rolling Stone includes the songs in their top 10 of ZZ Top's essential songs, while Ultimate Classic Rock ranks the couple of songs as ZZ Top's fourth best song, and WRIF ranks it eighth. So it's highly ranked, no matter who is doing the ranking. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It all helps. I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.